7-Eleven on your Sunday morning? Well, it's a children's book that teaches kids to say please and thank you. It's called A Quest for Good Manners by Karen LaFlanc. And it's about why they should have good manners and just follow boring rules. And Karen joins us now this morning. Good morning, Karen. Thanks for coming in. Um, first, what sort of prompted you to write the book? Well, I've been teaching um, children's manners classes, and um, like high tea and etiquette, and please pass the table manners. I used to own Over the Moon, so we used to have the classes there, and um, I looked at books, and there weren't that many books that were really fun, and I wanted to write a fun book that also happened to teach manners at the same time. And so. to make it fun, you base it on a story, and I think you have characters. We're going to put right. up a few pictures from right. the book. What's sort of the synopsis of the 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 story. Well, the story is about a princess and her pet dragon, and they're banished from the castle because they have really bad manners. So they have to go on a quest to find good manners. And, and what, are, what are some of the things they run into? In, what, what's one of the big manner faults? Well, um, first they, have, they meet Percival the wizard, and they actually have to pull a fork from the rock, kind of like Excalibur, and um, she's only able to pull the fork when she knows how to hold the fork properly. And you know, you're not supposed to grab the fork with a fist, so she learns that. And then the next lesson is the please and thank you, where they encounter a fairy. And um, so there's different trials that they do, and finally in the end they learn that the real secret to good manners is kindness and consideration. But I have to say, this is not a pink book, you know, so I have been hearing that it's about a princess, but little boys are reading it as well. Oh, good. So They need that, to know manners as well. Uh, absolutely. And so Talk about why, you know, you, you talked about high tea. Mm. I mean, most kids don't get to high tea. Um, why do they need good manners? What, and why do parents need a book to... Are we so busy oh. we let things go? How many, no, but how many times do we say, oh, please say thank you? How many times do we remind our children? Our teachers remind uh, the kids. Everybody does. So we need all the help that we can get when we're reinforcing it, whether it's a book or whether it's a class. I mean, as parents, it's so important. And studies now show that children who learn gratitude are happier. I mean, it's profound. It's not just about saying please and thank you. It's about increasing their self-confidence, increasing their focus, and that all comes from learning a sense of gratitude. So we got a few tips that we're gonna we're gonna put on the screen. Um, what what tip do you have um, for parents? What you talk about role play? What do you mean by that? Oh well, for example, um, you can pretend that you're the neighbor or that you're uh, a teacher at school, and so that they can the children can role play meeting you or looking you in the eye and shaking your hand or you know having fun like that. And sometimes in our uh, you know in our classes we'll we'll do lots of role plays. You also say have your child set the table, and not just as a chore. I mean, you want to take it more as a learning lesson than just a chore? Is that why you... Yeah, children like to feel important. And, you know, it's fun for them to be uh, a part of it. And um, so you can have them set the table, and they learn how to set the table. And there are little facts that you can, you know, show them as you go along. And we certainly do in our classes. We always sprinkle them with lots of fun facts, like which came first, the fork or the spoon. You know, how the Spartans first used a napkin. It was a lump of dough. You know, really, really fun stuff, because you've got to make it fun. Otherwise, they think it's a chore. Right. Um, and what, what uh, final tip that you have about how often you should discuss good behavior with your kids? When's the right time? When you're already in the car on the way, or ahead of time? to like an event. Oh, it's so important ahead of time. I mean, so how many times have we been at a play date where we're always reminding our child, okay, what do we say now at the end of the play date? You know, remember to say thank yeah. you. So um, always say before, you know, you go to a birthday party or a play date or a sleepover, you know, what are some things, what are some examples of good manners? So get them thinking ahead. And I think that's always a good idea. All right, Karen LaPlanc, author of Quest for Good Manners. Thanks for coming in. Thank good you. tips not only for kids, but adults too. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll take, we'll take Karen's advice. If you're interested in her book, you know where to go. Our website, WTNH.com.